The database value may be null, which means that it's either missing, unknown, or just doesn't apply. Null is not equivalent to blank or text or zero for numerical data types. It just means that there's no value for it. Some database tables columns should not be null, such as an ID column, which represents a unique identifier or a key for that row of data. When creating a table, you can prevent null values by specifying that this column is not null. This causes the database to reject when a row is inserted with missing data in any column that is set to not null. When you are using arithmetic operators such as plus, minus, multiplication, or division, or comparison operators such as greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, or equality operators like the double equal sign, and if you have one or more null values, then the result ends up being null also. In a SQL query, you can use the isNull condition to select the rows with null. For example, select name from friends where phone is null will return back the result set of all your friends that don't have a phone number listed. SQL also has built-in aggregate functions such as sum, max, min, and average and they all ignore null values when they're used. For example, if you were calculating the max of numbers, it would ignore the number that is null before returning the result. Boolean variables are represented as zero in the database for false, or one in the database if they're true. If you take a look at the table on the right, we'll see the Boolean logic with null values. Um, so let's say we had, in the first two columns, we have the value for x and y, which could be either true or false, then using AND, if both X and Y are true, then X and Y is true. And if either X or Y is true, then X or Y becomes true. So the only way X and Y becomes false is if either X or Y is false. And the only time X or Y becomes false is when both X or Y are false. But notice that with nulls, if either X or Y is null using AND, then X and Y becomes null. And with the OR operator, if you use null as either X or Y, that value also becomes null as well. And the table on the bottom corner shows you that if X is true, not X is false. If X is false, not X is true. And if X is null, not X is also null.